So the chip of the day is a TSL230, a programmable light to frequency converter. Now these are cool little chips. I had these a long time ago. I think I think they still make, I don't think TI makes them anymore. TI had a series of chips that were in these clear packages. These are, these are clear uh, encapsulation. They're not black chips, they're clear chips. That's because they have light sensors in them. And uh, they had several of these chips. I don't remember what they all did. Uh, but this one outputs a pulse and the frequency is proportional to how much light is falling on the sensor. And I thought they were super cool. <laughs> and so, yeah, I've got, still have four of them. So I hooked one up and we'll play with it. They are uh, high resolution programmable. I'll talk about the programmability. Communicates directly with a microcontroller, which basically means it's a five volt part and, and you can send in the frequency to the microcontroller and it has to measure the frequency. There's no communication really. It can operate down to 2.7 volts. That's pretty cool. This is part of their Linmos series. They did a lot of Linmos stuff back in the way back days. Okay. Um, so light comes into a flight of diode and there's two programmable chips here. These two chips set the set sensitivity. If they're both low, it, it turns it off. If it's low high, it it's, uh, has a gain of one you have a gain of 10 or a gain of 100. And then over here, you can, you can take this and, and take the current of the photodiode and change it into a frequency, okay? And then you can take that frequency and you can scale it by one, two, 10, and 100. So that's a, a divider. It's an output, in, really is an output enable? I didn't think there was an output enable. Oh yeah, pin three. I don't have pin three wired up on mine. I guess it just worked. <laughs> um, so if you're, I guess if it floats, it outputs. Oh yeah, not not output enable. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go uh, take a look at these parts. I'll put a picture in here. You can see these the parts. They're uh, they're really cute. You know, you can make silicon photodiodes. And if you can make photodiodes, why don't you just go ahead and put circuitry around them? So that's what they did. And uh, the, uh, let's see, I want to show you one graph. Uh, yeah, here's the uh, output frequency versus radiance. So uh, it should be measured in probably watts. Let's see here, output frequency versus radiance. Yeah, microwatts per centimeter squared, uh, irradiance and the output in frequency. So here's the ranges that goes between 0.01 and 1000 kilohertz. And depending on what gain setting you have and things like that. Uh, this is the photosensitivity of the photodiode. So it can capture light from uh, about 300 to 1000 nanometers. This is a typical silicon diode. So it's not, it's not equally sensitive to all wavelengths. It's going to be the most sensitive to around 750 nanometers. And it'll be 20% down at 600 and 40% down at 500. So uh, yeah, it's not, it's not equally, um, the conversion of light to photons is not equal in, uh, in silicon. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at the circuit. All right, super simple, just a, a chip and some wires. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shine light on it, okay? And we will take a look at the oscilloscope. And uh, here's the output. And as I shine light on it, we get uh, higher and higher frequencies. And if I blast it all away, I get lots and lots. So I can get that all on, all on camera. Can you see? There we go. See it all at the same time. The more the light, the uh, faster the frequency. I got wiggle it back and forth. And I get it super, super bright. Yeah, pretty cool. So it's an easy way to add a light sensor to, a, uh, to an Arduino project. There's probably uh, light to I squared C these days. I'm not familiar with those parts. Maybe somebody can comment below. 
I might want to buy one of those. I think there's some RGB sensors as well, uh, RGB to I squared C, and probably uh, lumens to R, R, R to I squared C. Lumens are different than watts. These these are measuring uh, watts, and uh, you need a color filter of a particular type to measure lumens, because uh, humans are uh, calibrated in the lumens. Anyway, there you go. That was the TSL 230, the chip of the day, in these really cool clear crystal packages. I like them.